All right, Chris here with Chris the Car Guy. I want to talk about an issue that occurs on the air conditioning system that gets overlooked all the time. One simple sensor that kind of messes up the uh, output of the AC. So a customer could be complaining about the AC blowing warm, not blowing cold, um, it happens all the time, and it's one little sensor that gets overlooked. So let's talk about it. So that sensor is the EVAP temperature sensor. So in this case right here, I have an EVAP temp sensor that monitors the temperature of the evaporator so that if the evaporator starts to freeze up, the AC turns off, gets to thaw out, and then it turns back on so that we get good cooling. In this case, my temperature sensor is actually shorted internally, and if you look here, it's reading 40 degrees Celsius. Now in comparison to the outside temperature, which is only 22 degrees Celsius, that's a huge difference. This is actually 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and the other one's about 80 degrees, uh, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So, huge difference. Now, with that, what's going to happen is, is that the car is going to keep the AC on all the time, trying to get that evaporative temperature to drop, and then the interim is going to freeze up the evaporator. So then it starts to blow warm. So what my colleague Joe here is going to do is we're going to show what happens now on the opposite side. Instead of it being shorted, what happens if it's an open circuit? create an open by unplugging the sensor itself, and then we're going to go back to the status to see what changes. All right, now we're back with the temperature sensor circuit. with the open circuit. What do we got with the open circuit? So as you can see now, with the complete open, the evaporator temp sensor now reads negative two degrees Celsius. So you can see the disparaging difference between an open, negative two degrees Celsius, and I shorted together, which was 40 degrees Celsius, which is a very distinguished way that you can see what's going on with the evaporator temp sensor if you're having an AC issue where the temperature is not changing or only blows warm because, like Chris said, the evaporator is freezing up. So that will conclude. Remember, always check your statuses and just look at that EVAP temp sensor to see where you're at. All right.